Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. This is how Volcano looks today on June 20th around noon when I was visiting Blue Lagoon. I used the opportunity to check the volcano with the drone. And when I came closer I noticed that there is very little lava in the crater as you see. Uh, it's a big difference to what I had been filming last time some weeks ago. Now it's three weeks since it started to erupt on uh, May 29th and uh, the last time I was flying it was early June it was we had two craters erupting now it's only one and the way it looks as for today uh, it doesn't look that it's going to erupt very long perhaps a few days more I doubt more than a week or two the very max Perhaps a couple of days, at least, if you compare this activity to what it was in the past, the previous eruptions, when they were at this stage, they usually erupted a short time after, before uh, going off completely. And as you see, lava is spilling in this small uh, lava pool south of the crater, not to the north but to the south towards Grindavik and it's just around the crater perhaps it's spilling over under the ground in different directions maybe also to the north but at least we can see it uh, it's spilling to the south here from under the crust below the crater uh, as you know uh, two days ago while well, I was spilling over the wall uh, close to, to the geothermal power plant and they started pumping uh, water on the lava to cool down the flow to to save the geothermal power plant well they stop it and luckily it worked out fine but I don't think there is much lava coming in that direction perhaps we have some lava pools uh, that accumulated to the north you know and perhaps it's enough to a small uh, amount of lava to come in to trigger some breakout so you know we saw such breakout when the volcano stopped back in September 2021 uh, there was a big big lava flow going on spilling over uh, in Gelingadal when the volcano was already uh, not erupting and it was just some a pool of lava that accumulated close to the crater that broke out the same things we can see here uh, uh, as well so it makes sense to to raise the wall somewhat as they are doing now uh, close to the geothermal power plant I saw the machinery working there uh, to make sure lava will not run toward the geothermal power plant to save the geothermal power plant that also works close to Blue Lagoon but I think uh, both geothermal power plant and Blue Lagoon are safe for now considering how weak is the activity and uh, very likely we will see the end of eruption rather soon now the land rise continues and hard to say what to expect next uh, perhaps in a month or two we will see one more eruption perhaps lava will never make it to the surface very hard to, to, to foretell anything uh, but the time will show so I'm back in Iceland from Spain where I was for almost 10 days and now I will be making reports again on the ongoing volcanic situation in Iceland and I'm also working, doing the day tours. Uh, wish you all the best. Be well. God bless you all. Take care. And enjoy the rest of the footage. This crater to the front that you see is called Sunnukur. From this crater we have got the name, the crater of, of Sunnukur. Sunuka either, which is actually a bit further uh, to the east of the ancient Sunukur uh, crater row. It doesn't quite align with it, but rather close as you see. Mm -hmm. 